How's it going, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Pixley Wolf, Gabriel Potter, Jason Green, Base564, Grayscale, Ty Bennett, Casey, Pro Tomahawker, Lucius, Austin Davis, Anthony, Noriden XD, Boop the Snoot, Michael Tierran, Nick, Kaya the Great, Christian Andre Cavande, Seven Gates, Aaron Bates, Diablo 2604, Slivarium, Octocat, Redemption, It Silver, Aubrey Byrne, Starkiller SCP 049, Thoughtful 03 Guy, JK 844, D, Ariel, and as always, I want to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Bevan Brummett and Tavon. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. All right, here we go. Count three, one, two, three. Whee! Oh, God! 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 I just got hit by lawnmowers that were falling. <laughs> we have various individuals on our Discord who make requests, and they often make requests of their favorite YouTubers. Sad how we never see any of our videos on there. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking. So, um, who, who requested this? Let remember? me actually go back and find it. I think I was on it whenever I... Uh, oh, no. It, oh, it auto went. It went back down to the bottom. Uh, hold on. It was up here. If it takes too long, I'll just cut this part out. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. This was Ridley74 requested okay. this. Tear of Grace, uh, the Resident Evil 7 biohazard gameplay. Crazy wife prank gone wrong. Oh, dear God. I just know that one of our resident voice chat frequenters, uh, our resident Romanian, <laughs> uh, Swag. Unironically Romanian. Yeah, Swag is uh, apparently a big fan of Tears of Grace because I've heard Swag talk about Tears of Grace a lot. So Yeah. So... I, uh, I've heard of Tear of Grace, I've heard of uh, their work, and honestly, a lot of people have recommended that uh, I give them a watch, and this one is a, a game that I've played a lot, uh, Resident Evil 7, I, I remember playing it when it first came out, I actually live streamed my first time on the channel, then I had to stop the live stream, take the quality settings down, because YouTube was basically, like, not accepting, does not compute, and basically, I... I, I just had to restart the stream with lower settings just so YouTube could accept our live stream. It took me until right before Resident Evil 8 came out to finally play all the way through Resident Evil 7. And your final thoughts on Resident Evil 7? It's pretty good. I probably would have played through it again if Resident Evil, hadn't, uh, Resident Evil 8 hadn't come out the next day. So Yeah. Basically the same thing with me. I remember... I actually... Uh, same. Actually, it was the same deal with Resident Evil 8. The quality settings... I had jacked, and even though I thought I had a computer that was capable of handling it, apparently not. Uh, YouTube, again, was just like, you. it's like, lower quality settings. And I lowered the quality settings, and I played through the game, and I beat the game on stream, and I had moments where I was just like, oh, dude. And with this game, we're actually thinking about doing a series, which, tell me if you would want to see this. Kate, who has been appearing on the uh, channel with us, she wants to be more involved on the channel, period. She just wants to be involved. And we're talking. We're thinking about doing a uh, series where we play scary games, either with her in control of it or us controlling it if she doesn't feel comfortable with playing it. Um, and basically, she's like she. We, we're thinking about calling it Scaredy Kate, because <laughs> uh, you know, Scaredy Cat, Scaredy Kate. Hey, hey, funny. Uh, but we're. I'm probably going to get a night vision camera just so we can have the lights off and have her just, like, absolutely terrified of, like, everything. Because I play... That would be really, really fun, actually. Like, I, I, dude, and she's down for stuff Especially like if she's down to, like, co-pilot a couple of them and let me play, like, just a couple of the ones that I haven't played in a long time I'd really like to play again. <laughs> but, like, today I was listening to... Um, the horror lo-fi I was listening to, and there's just all kinds of Akira Yamaoka vibes in it. And I'm like, man, I really want to play Silent Hill 2 again. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, God. Oh, dude, I almost forgot to mention something. Um, there's talk of a Silent Hill 1 and 2 remake. Or they like, already kind of remake. Well, they remastered. remastered to. No, but I'm talking like a full-on remake with like modern tech hmm. built in the Unreal 5 engine. I guess it depends on who they give it to. I've heard I've heard that they've got a team from Blue Point working on like a concept of it. That would be awesome. And once Blue Point is done with their uh once Blue Point is done with their uh uh independent project that they're working on, they're gonna dedicate a hundred percent to this Silent Hill remake. Everything about Silent Hill has been rumors recently, so it's hard to tell what's real and what is. Well, yeah, thing. because Konami, again, just mm. fuck you, Konami. Oh sorry, that wasn't on camera. Just so I'll do it again just on camera so you can see this, Konami. <laughs> yeah, up yours. That's what you get for screwing over. F That's what you get for screwing over Kojima alone. But everything else that you've done to the gaming community, ugh, Jesus. Anyway, Biohazard uh, Resident Evil Seven is a game that you know I, I want to play through again. And if I can play through it with Kate uh, in the dark and have her like reactions on the night vision camera, I think that would be a killer. Uh, gameplay. Like I said, I uh, just video. think you should ease her into this kind of stuff. And seven's a really, really rough place to start somebody out on something. <laughs> well, she. Well, here's the thing. She watched uh, Jake play through uh, PT. Yeah, but still, <laughs> it's a bit much. Know. But again, I'll ask her what she's comfortable with, and if she ever does feel uncomfortable and wants to like, stop. I actually know of someone who was first introduced, like, basically to playing horror games from Resident Evil 7 on VR, and then they refused to play any more horror games after that. So, I, that's why I'm just like, I think you should ease people into it, like, rather well, than throw again, them head first into Resident again, Evil 7. Again, here's the thing. I played a little bit with Kate, like, the first ten minutes, uh, where we got into the house, and it got really dark and really creepy, mm. and she was just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And she's asked. She's asked to like play more of it. She's asked to play more of it as we've gone. Fair forward. enough. I mean, if that's what she wants, I mean, I'm not gonna say no. But anyway, uh, we got this video queued up here. Done enough talking on it. Let's uh, give it a watch. See what happens. Here we go. Play this. Come on, Dave. <laughs> I don't want to. We have passed the pass. I don't want to. That is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> you absolute <laughs> lord. <laughs> Absolute spanner. <laughs> right, so in terms of noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Hello. Gosh. That couldn't have been any more perfect. Oh, you fucking couldn't, could it? If it were the same delivery guy, I may have just murdered the man. What is he doing? <laughs> Jack! Arranged marriages in India don't take this fucking long. <laughs> the womb and the soul. Why? Get back in here! That hurt? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I was going for a joking, I'll do you. Also, I appreciate the fact that this dude's wearing a Seth Rollins t-shirt. I love... Like, I was just going to say, I appreciate the fact that this is just dudes on a couch with some mics in front of them. I, mean, <laughs> I know, right? It's so great! Yeah. <laughs> I love this aesthetic. If only... If only, you know, if only uh, we were as popular as they are. I mean, damn. Yeah, they we got a bit of a head start on us, it looks like. Yeah, I ain't got enough time. Or maybe we do. I'll watch. I'm going to join you if you want. Take my bum off, please. I'm recording. Oh, shit. Yeah, literally. Oh, fucking sit down. Oh, <laughs> sorry, lad. Hey, baby. <laughs> I love you, Ethan. Ethan? Why are so many Ethans in games? Those ones are like a fucking Jacobo. It's Ethan. Ethan Bradbury. Uh, maybe it's a prank. Oh, Ethan Bradbury prank, bro! Oh. An achievement? <laughs> She's I alive. You loaded the game up. Achievement. You bought it. Thanks. <laughs> Off into the woods I go to get robbed by the big bad wolf. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off I go into the woods to get robbed by the big bad wolf. Yeah. I'm male. Isn't that taboo to say I'm going to get robbed? To that point, it's fucking comedy. <laughs> oh mate, there's a map. Find Mia. This Find Mia, who is missing in action. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Fuck off with that. Oh, there's a man. Oh, it must be Mia's. No, it's Texas. 
<laughs> oh, it's the name of the person, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, it's not me, is it's Texas. Mm. <laughs> also, that's a tribute. The Texas uh, driver's license is actually a tribute to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's why that's in there. Fair enough. Oh, it's me as driver's license. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, can you speak Please someone in? Oh, Jesus. Right. No, close the door. No, fuck that. <laughs> Get back in my car and I'm going the fuck home. Calling the army. <laughs> no. No, there isn't. There's some there's some lint. Would you like some lint? There's copious amounts of lint. Oh, I can inspect the picture of... Rusev. You say this every time. <laughs> Editor, Rusev. It's not... It isn't. It's not Rusev! Well, Brett, how did you know that was there? In terms of my character, that's a very good question. But see, this is a game and I've played the demo. You ready to get Alma today? Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> I actually jumped from that shit! By the way, who would willingly do this without so much of a fuss? Wouldn't you call your friend to come join you? I'll call a bunch of people, all have guns and fucking stole the He doesn't have any friends. It's a long hallway and I don't like it. Is one person really worth this much? Oh, if you love him, yeah. No. You heartless bastard. There's not, no. But I don't know Mia, so I'm, I'm just here for the ride. No! Oh, fuck! Jesus. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, is that a... <laughs> oh. oh. Wake up, you daft cow! Thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. What the fucking exit's you way, you daft cow? Oh, you broke the ladder. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to her, because she's going to grab me. I just don't want to get too far away from her because she's going to fucking disappear. This is the part where you turn into a zombie and kill me. Do not turn your back on her. Fucking hell. I know, but I've got to! <laughs> she isn't moving anymore! This is the bit where she turns on us and opens her arsehole and sticks her head inside. <laughs> Full fucking cranial gaping. <laughs> <laughs> that's a... I that's believe a that's a term. term. I'm gonna have to use yeah, that. I was gonna say, I believe that's a new term I haven't heard before. <laughs> Cranial gaping. I need to use that now. Oh, heard of sticking one's head up one's own ass, but cranial gaping is a new one, and I need to use that now. I have a new term that, that I have added to my lexicon. I don't like it, Mom. I don't want to go in the dark fucking room with a bastard. Oh no! That's a bit wrong. <laughs> For oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, <there's no> lights. <laughs> of course, there's no fucking lights. Uh, first aid, man. We're going to take damage soon, which means scares are coming, boys. Hold on to your poopers. Is it fucking locked? There's something behind me. I ain't turning around. Tag out. No. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dickhead! <laughs> Up scared from the blocking. <laughs> That's pretty genius. Hey, Nick. Oh, you did it! You give him the control of for five seconds, and you two have defecated twice. <laughs> Look, you gotta go that way. Don't to be bitch, says the man who just tagged out. You can't sprint downstairs. Oh, You're that's... stuck to the speed of a... <laughs> 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 What's that? Ah! Shit! <laughs> ah! It's me! We found you! <laughs> what the fuck? You know, she just lifted in the past five seconds. Holy ah! shit! Ah! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Gouge your eyes out for Christ's sake! Mountain her! Not Manta, that's... I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> oh. I mean... <laughs> I've got a knife. What the... Stop it with this! <laughs> we're fucking trying to, but you locked the doors, you cow! Oh, look at that. Fucking go on, Fucking at you! <laughs> You're doing a bad oh, job! It. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> Searched for her for three years and you killed her. Then my next point, can you just take it back out of her? No. Come on, give me back! You told me you can't pull out. I tried to do the same thing. I was like, why don't you pick the hatchet back up? I, I, I also love what he says here. He's like, You're sad. After, after she goes down. for three years and you killed her. 
Can I have my axe back? Can, can I have my axe back? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, asking your dead girlfriend who's on the ground. It's like, excuse me, can I have my axe back? It's such a British thing to say. <laughs> excuse me, I know I just, like, buried it into your fucking clavicle. But can I have my axe back, please? <laughs> you just take it back out of there. No. Come on, give me back. You, you told me you can't pull out. Bruh. She's dead, she wouldn't mind. Hey! <laughs> oh, got my axe. First, middle, and final boss, Mia. Great. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Will you pack it in with this fucking parrying uh, shit? By the way, do you like the fact that we've got an achievement for um, getting out of a car door, crouching, maybe not that, I can't remember, and uh, closing a door. <sighs> That's what a shadow! <laughs> what the hell? That's a hell of a shadow. We've got an achievement for closing a door, but killing your wife for a bit, no achievement. I could fucking break out of here! What if I did? Like 20 minutes just ran out of the house. It was a resident survival craft out the fucking building and just smashed the doors down. I've got wood! Hey Dave! Play this! Go on Jack, it's your No! Play this! Go on Dave! I don't want you. to. We have passed the pass on I this don't one. want to. You big beardy bitch. Don't be a pansy. Come on. It's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> you absolute <laughs> boss lord. <laughs> Hit a right. I, I love the fact they're playing superstition in the back. <laughs> yeah, Stevie Wonder playing as though he's blind. He's just like, I don't know what I'm swinging at. But if I keep doing this, they won't attack me. <laughs> oh, right. It's a right! <laughs> if you're gonna play the game like this, I'm gonna punch you in the dick. I'm scared. That's the point! It's a scary game! It's how I deal with scary games. I think I want to do this with VR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was your suggestion. <laughs> what the hell this was your idea? <laughs> Chainsaw. Stop! <laughs> You've been dad, you know, when it comes to what to do next, I've got to say I'm stumped. I don't know what will change. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was a good one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm stumped. Nice pun. Jesus. I fucking know when you threw the controller away by pressing pause, you must have fucking puss. There's fucking two. There were threesome. Um, They've I'm, got arms off as well, they I'm, can relate. Well, you can try the ladders and see if it's locked. I mean, you were told to come here by... What was the name on the phone? By what? Zoe. Was it by what? Oh, Jesus Christ! No, do it now! Get back, get back, man. <laughs> she was right by Say Amy shit! No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> nope, you just got bisected. Oh, <laughs> well, that's one way to do a vasectomy. Ooh. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking, I find that really hard to aim. Yeah. When I tried to play with a controller, this game was You're fucking hard to aim. Do what? Like, when I tried to play this game with a controller, it was nearly impossible to aim. Again, yeah. It does not have good aiming controls on controller. It's much you more pleasant to, to play on a mouse and keyboard. You have to adjust it. I will say that adjusting it it made it a lot easier, especially when I played it on PS4. Yeah, but playing it on mouse and keyboard was much easier. I agree. I think I missed maybe two shots the whole game. <laughs> You're just gonna lunge at me? Oh, you lunge at me? You oh, fucking love me? I'm on a fucking chopping my hand off. You Oh, that's it, Ethan. Don't okay, I'm gonna have to censor that. <laughs> Pick up the He's already said it once before, too. Let's move up to a court. I'm gonna have to rewatch all of this just to make sure I get everything. Because <laughs> I know you're not allowed to say rape. I know you're not allowed to say... Uh, I'm gonna censor this anyway. I know you're not allowed to say rape. You're not allowed to say cunt. You're not allowed to say maggot. That starts with F. 
So I don't think I've heard them say that, at least. Not yet. Well, I don't think they will. Yeah. So she can grab us and fuck us with her hands. Yep. Oh, she's dead. Yep. I just... And she's got the chainsaw. No, I, I, I just kicked that. It has collision. It's <laughs> 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 okay, you just killed your wife. You were going to join the family anyway, you silly boy. I got chainsaw that stays stood up. One punch from an old fucking wrinkled man and I'm on my ass. <laughs> Again? She alright? You fucking feed her! You're fucking knackered, Danny! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Granny! Hey, uh... I know you, uh... Granny, uh, don't, uh, don't let her appearance fool you. Granny gets around, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> God damn! Oh, Roger. Come on, I'm coming for you, bitch. I'm gonna give you a nice hug. Punch, Ethan! Punch! She's staring at me. If you're going to start fucking mean eyeing me, I'm going to gouge him out. Where's a spoon? Looks like she's mouthing something. I'll fucking give her something to mouth around in a minute. Huh? Hmm? Bruh? Hmm? <laughs> Even he's befuddled. Look at his face. He's like... He's like, you just said that. Wait, what? what? I was going to say, I didn't know you were a granny mangler. <laughs> <laughs> the granny mangler. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, ever in my life, whenever hell yeah said that, I'm just like... That's it. That's that's your name now. From now on, you're no longer just Kevin Holly or Hell Yeah. You are also the Granny Mangler. <laughs> A teeth might be. Oh. oh. <laughs> Your point was that. It looks fragile. Maybe you can break it with something. Yes. How about my new fucking cybernetic hand? Punch. Ethan tracks down his wife after three years, kills her. He doesn't know how to punch. Those are really pretty flowers. <laughs> Fucking, when did you get there? Oh, she's uh, gone. Oh, she's gone. Oh, fuck my aching Granny. ass. Granny! It's locked. It's locked! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> run, man, oh, run! Man, run. I thought it was a death cut scene. There's gonna be someone else there. Yeah, I'm sure there is. I'm gonna get to this corner. Oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> every time that happens, everybody jumps. Yep. Doesn't matter. Doesn't well, matter if you've seen it. Doesn't matter if you know that that part's coming. I will quote myself from when I played Condemned Criminal Origins. Because I played it for the first time on my parents' PC. And they had one of those little rolly things that rolls out that the keyboard was on with the mouse sitting next to it, right? Yeah. And there's a part in the game where someone just breaks their arm through a fucking drywall and smacks you in the face and it scared me so bad i went like this and whipped my mouse off the desk and had to fucking pick the mouse up to defend myself and i just i told people i was like man you, you can't get much more unexpected than just coming through Dude, the fucking wall <laughs> the, most, the most stressful part for me for for condemned was the bear the bear scene oh yeah. god I like I was so freaking terrified. But it's like the Kool Aid man. Somebody just comes through the fucking wall. It's terrifying. Like oh it, yeah. Even when uh, on uh, Oryx Onyx Orcs, whatever his fucking name is, and Siege, he, even he scared the shit out of people sometimes. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, Oryx. Yeah. Busting through the wall. <laughs> I always played Oryx because I always like doing that. I always like playing Kool Aid man. Also, I loved just like knocking down Montaigne's and Blitzes. Yeah. Because you know, there's like I got a shield. No one can hurt me. It's like, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is O! <laughs> <laughs> Knock him down, headshot him. One of the best feelings ever. Especially if they if shield strat is their main strat and they just keep doing it round after round. I actually pissed one guy off. He was just be like, fuck you, Oryx, and your <laughs> whole fucking family. And I'm just like, I'm just like, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> to the corner. Sprint, Ethan! You lost an arm and a leg! Get down to the garage. Garage! Why the garage? He just broke open the door for me so I can go this way! You're fucking smart, you are, lad. You're fucking smart. Where are you? No, it looks like fucking Anne Hathaway upside down. Yeah. I think I like this man. You know, out of, the, out of the fire into the frying pan or the other way around, you know that one? This is out of the melting pot fucking lava pits and into Hitler's dick. This is, this is that. <laughs> What the fuck? Again, the dialogue is so good. Also, look at that look at that deinterlacing that they do on the fucking Xbox right? to save on processing. That's awful. Well, this is like Xbox One, so yeah, no wonder. PS4 was bad as well. 
On PC, this look like almost everything in this looks amazing. Yeah, looks the same. They're pretty much the same. Main house map. It's the kind of thing I'm not used to anymore, where I play most everything on PC. No, get him off the screen. Main house map. How convenient. Kids are just gonna for. They unveil the best. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That was a little funny. What he said. Yeah. I'll. I'll give. I'll give a pass on showing him. But I'm just. Mm. My wife downstairs after being fucking turned to a zombie. <laughs> Killed with tape that can't be removed by hand. It, <laughs> it's tape. That green light looked like the Xbox symbol. I thought that. It actually does because of this fucking pattern. It kind of no. does. What the fuck? That's it. I was going to turn my back to the corridor behind me where an old man with an axe is, and I'm going to speak to you. Oh, it's the police officer, remember? That's what they said. It's the police. He's black. He's dead. That's it. He's gone. He's the first one. I mean, it is kind of a horror trope, unfortunately. But here's the thing. He's not technically the first one to die. Mm, who is then? The camera crew. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And also... Good point. Yeah. Also, in lore, for those of you who have not played Village, Ethan. Yeah, I guess so. So, technically, not true. But where this guy played through the demo, he didn't play through the videotape section, so, yeah. Die. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right, let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? You gotta give me your gun. Are you about to give someone you just called crazy your gun? A fucking pocket knife? Oh, never mind. You can leave. Garage doors are gonna close on us. Someone's gonna come with an axe. He's gonna have his head taken off. I'm gonna pick up the gun. I'm gonna shoot the old man. He's gonna disappear. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Won't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try. Hey, put that door back. Put that door back up! Please! You useless prick! Oh, oh shit! Fuck my life! I won't kill everyone! Are you? Good luck! Come on! Oh. What the? What is this nonsense? <laughs> just smiling. What do you expect? The man just took a police officer's fucking head off in the middle! Oh, oh you fucking boys! Alright, get out, get out, get out! Slash the fuck! <laughs> This is stupid! Yeah. Get in the car! Get in the car! What the hell? Oh... <laughs> he got in the car oh. instead. Yep! Back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I love the fact that they're using a sped up version of Jump Around too as their background music. It's literally a sped up version of Jump Around. Listen. I can't tell. I wonder if I can rap to that. Pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. I came to win. That's a sin. <laughs> And he's dead. Roadkill. Wow. Really? That's the end? Come on, guys. Aww. This says skip to rest of the video. Eh? That you can either watch the rest of this video or I'll see you in the next one. Fucking sex tape, sell it for millions, little box sofa. Oh, it's done with the gameplay. But I don't mind hearing these guys banter because they're freaking funny. With the Kim Kardashian video. Hey guys, if you're ever in the US, we'd love to make your acquaintance. Or if we're ever in the UK and y'all want to chill, uh, just hit us up. <laughs> There's some moisturizer over there. They asked for it. This, this, this. <laughs> I'm a tit. <laughs> also, y'all can't just. Call me the stereotypical fat American because, you know, this guy pretty chunky too. I mean. <laughs> oh, God. Can't you think of another way to describe him? Like the guys with the really good senses of humor. They have a great sense of humor. I'm not saying that. Oh, God. You shut up. Man. I know what you're doing. We're just referencing the the, what the dude said about us. Yeah, yeah. Freaking McNasty. McNasty being like, aren't those really fat guys who sit on the couch all day? 
<laughs> Not all day. <laughs> and the dude's like, there's got to be a better way to describe them than that. <laughs> well, the dude had our back, man. I mean, I appreciate that. Hey, dude, if you ever... <laughs> well, actually, I don't know if dude will ever see this video. He's like, stop <laughs> describing people by their flaws. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know that McNasty guy? You know, the fat dude with that really ugly, disgusting mole? <laughs> Fucking picture. We broke nothing but feel my pants. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I can't fully I understand what they're saying with the mic so far away and well, being quiet. Well, again, like this, I think this is the advantage we have over them is that they got two mics sitting between the two of them, whereas we have literally four mic, well, three right now because this one's uh, in the recording booth back there, which we can get at any time. But we can have like a, we can do four to six people recording and each one has their own individual mic and I can uh, address them on here and basically like adjust it and post I mean it's it's easy enough to do but except for the occasional weird thing where somebody's just goes out like no. that's the other thing too which that hap that's not happened here as much it happened a lot at the mansion I'm well, last time I remember it happening was when Chad was on a video and it was just like you just can't hear anything Chad's saying for some reason yeah yeah that was uh, it I was because that mic was just like not turned oh that's right I remember that because uh, <clears throat> because of you know us moving this futon back and forth uh, it was on top of the cable and the cable basically got damaged and you know you couldn't hear it yeah. I replaced the cable and eventually everything worked out so you know no problems but, yeah, that sucked. But this microphone and your microphone have never really had any issues. That's one thing I can definitely say I'm thankful for. Ow, ow. Damn it, I forgot my, about my blister. Ouch. <laughs> I got a blister here from where I was baking something the other day. Uh, yeah, did not, yeah, didn't go so well. Anyway, I guess, uh, let's go ahead and finish this up. The sensor just finished itself, it was meant to be. I was going for something completely different. <laughs> It's a seal of innocence, but no. Honesty came out, I'm afraid. Can you move this mic like close this one? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, bastard people here, I'm doing everything. Get fucked. I'm doing fucked. I'm scared of mannequins. I'm gonna sink it again. One, two, three, one, two. Hey, I, hey, that's what I used to do. I used to do that too whenever it came to syncing shit. Syncing gameplay footage to uh, like video recording that we were doing separately, mm. or audio we were doing separately. Yeah, that's that was the old school way of doing it. Oh my god, I haven't seen that in forever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just dunk your head on them? <laughs> <laughs> I think fucking <laughs> Bill Goldberg and bleed out him. <laughs> All I wanna know is Fine. right, this guy's gone into Louisiana, into dog shit part of it, on his own. Oh, no. Not told the police about his missing girlfriend or whatever. It's been three years. What's in the pot? Fuck it then, just go and leave. Don't go to this place. It's been three years, you haven't found somebody else. I'm afraid relationships aren't for you. What the hell is that? Oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Guest house map. Yeah, because when I have guests, I give them the, 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 the map to my house. I don't show them the way around or anything. <laughs> you fucking weirdos. I can't turn it around. Okay. Hidden passage. Marked with big, bold, bastard letters. Yes, wonderful. I don't know why I'm worried. There's going to be nothing in here. Except when he turns around, that's when my shit starts to come up my ass. <laughs> what? The, the idle animation for the axe just scared me. Play the fucking game. I have sweaty hands, deal with it. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh, I can't believe it, you son of a bitch! He's not eating! He's not eating! Straight away. Get them control. <laughs> that would fucking be a jump scare while fucking recording. <laughs> It's, it's, a a loud. it's a fucking horror game. I thought he was going like, to get in the car and like, drive off or something. Same! I was like, he's going to go to the garage, I'll see you later. And he started fucking drifting after me. <laughs> going full deja vu. <clears throat> gas, 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 I'm going to step on the gas. I was going to say again, it's a horror game. That's the funniest shit I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> like, that's funnier than actual comedy. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, ripped the roof off first, and then fucking did it. It's like, oh, I can't fit more. There's a bunch of different possibilities. What happened to you the first time you played it through? Uh, I got ran over as well. Well, no, did. Well, not the first time I went all the way through, but the first time I ever played it, I got ran over as well. You so. know what happened to me the first time through? Hmm. First time through, I actually got into the car, but before I could start the car. Uh, oh no, I actually got to start the car. I started the car and I hit him a few times. And then he uh, basically pulled me out. He got in, tore the roof off, 
and started doing donuts and everything, I stood in the middle of the room where he couldn't hit me, and I just kept slashing him while he was, like, driving around the room. It was con continuously slashing him. <laughs> just, like, I was out of bullets. I had no bullets. And just, like, I kept slashing and slashing. And then eventually, he crashed into the wall and blew up. But I've seen other possibilities of how things go. My most recent playthrough, like, where I actually went all the way through the game, I went in and I grabbed the keys and I unloaded a few shots on him. And then I got in the car and started running him over and, like, ended up actually, like, running him into the wall. And I remember, like, a cutscene where he's, like, down on the hood of the car. And then I think the car stalls and he's trying to start it. And then he, like, wakes up, you know, and he ends up, like, getting out. And then, like, you have to end up finishing the fight after that. Uh, there's also another one. It's the most extreme one. It. I don't know the, the chances of it happening, but if you're in the car... And you've, uh, and you know, you've been running him over. He'll actually like get in the car with you. He'll tear the roof off and he'll get like climb into the passenger. Oh side yeah, seat. and he grabs the wheel. He grabs the wheel. And he's and like, he, let's like, go for a ride. Yeah, that's happened to me too. I, I have seen that. I haven't had that one happen to yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, he's also. They also have a cow chop pillow, dude. I just noticed that, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, because he like grabs the wheel and he steps on your foot and like smashes the gas pedal down. Like, yeah, and he starts like steering you around. And you're just like, oh shit, you know. And then basically, and, 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 and the uh, whenever like he runs into a wall, he doesn't have the seatbelt on and he goes flying through the windshield. Well, the one that I saw, it was a uh, there was a uh, metal pipe or a metal uh, uh, girder that's right there, and he like ro rolls it back and he's like, he's like. He's just like, let's go for a drive, boy. And then he drives straight forward into the metal into the metal girder, and the metal girder impales him, and it misses Ethan. Ethan gets out, and then you know, yeah, the rest yeah. of the cutscene plays that out. That seems right. God, dude. And then when you start to go up the ladder, he's just I want to show again. you something beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> shoots himself yeah. with your empty fucking gun. That's, that was what happened to me. My gun was empty. I'm like... It's like every time I play it, I'm like, my bullet. gun's been empty. So it's just, like, it's the magic bullet. It's like, where'd that bullet come from when I needed it like five minutes ago? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, to it, and off he fucked into the... Oh, my <clears> Lord. And I thought he was just going to rip the car door off. It's so sweet, eh? Yeah, and do a Lesnar and throw the car door at you. Take it off. Do it, Guys, I love the fact that they're wrestling fans, too. And I know exactly what the fuck they're talking about. Brock Lesnar injured a fan at a show when he tore a car door off of a Cadillac and chucked it across the stage. And the, one of the panels came off the door and hit someone in the head. Ouch. They had to pay for the kids' like medical bills and all that, but yeah. it was a great it was great TV. He basically like destroyed this dude's car. It, God, to recover from that, yeah, I'll have a smooth anyone. Oh, I'll pay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I make a joke about going black to the future, but he did die. <laughs> Yeah, so there's more. Uh, wow, there's actually some that are. Yeah, uh, I don't know how many they ha they have, but they got the chainsaw battle on here. That's awesome. <laughs> uh okay. So, anywho, uh, that was uh, a. I was like how I mentioned, by the way, uh, you already took it off screen, but I'm assuming everybody saw it, like when it popped up, but. Um, I mentioned that I was listening to Dark Lo-Fi earlier. There it is. And it's in the lower left, actually. Oh, oh right there. Okay. Well, I listened to that one, too, actually. That one that you uh, moused over the Lo-Fi for Witches, they just premiered that this morning. Oh, nice. But that one right there, the Dark Lo-Fi. <laughs> yeah, Ill-Advised Records is awesome if you like horror and Lo-Fi. Also, I'm giving these guys a subscribe, and I'm leaving a comment down below. And uh, it's just like... It's just like he's <laughs> Oh, sorry. Me. Uh, I don't want to show y'all what I'm typing because I want y'all to go to their video and I want you to find it. That's the challenge here, guys. If you're watching this right now, go to their video right now, find this, and, you know, if you find their comment or find our comment, leave a like. And also, leave a like on their video if you like their content. <laughs> the amount... Or, sorry. The amount of... Uh, da, da. Yeah, 
I'll I'll finish the comment here in just a second. I don't want to like have y'all sitting here while I'm writing this out. So yeah, these guys are awesome. Check them out, guys. Like Tear of Grace. I cannot believe like how funny they are, and I I want to see more of what they got. But good stuff. Oh yeah, really good stuff. And y'all should check them out too. So until next time, everybody. Signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace.